Hi, I'm Mark, N5LHD. Got a couple of people that asked me about uh, some generator stuff, some mods that I did. Well, I just added a tri-fuel kit to my generator, and uh, we're going to try to run it and compare the difference between propane and uh, gasoline. And we're going to put it under a pretty good load. I'm going to try to kick off a four-ton AC unit with it, and we'll see how it runs, compare the difference. Stick around. One of the first mods I did to this thing was you'll notice that the uh, the way the oil was to drain the oil it was really hard to get to it was in it, you know it was just going to get all over the frame so I piped it out and now it's uh, it's underneath the uh, well easy to get your uh, pan pail underneath there and drain your oil with and the tri fuel kit it's pretty simple let me move around where you can see. Basically, you got a little venturi that goes right in here, and the fuel line comes up from the bottom. You just take the uh, air filter off, and uh, this thing just bolts right in, and then the air filter bolts right back on to where this was. Very simple operation. Make sure you use the right hose. This is 300 PSI hose, because that's about how much. If the regulator fails, uh, then you'll have full tank pressure coming in here. The next part is going to be the uh, flow control valve. Where your tank comes in here, your supply, your uh, fuel mixture, and then this goes out to the venturi on the uh, carburetor. And I just bolted that right straight uh, to the frame. What we're using, this is a Briggs and Stratton 8000 continuous, 13,500 surge. It's a 15 horsepower motor, and uh, let's see what it'll do. I got a full tank of gas. And this is just uh, 93 octane gas, nothing special. I got this thing uh, hooked up to my box. And uh, we're going to see. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run this thing on uh, gasoline. And uh, we'll see how we do on gasoline. So let's turn it on. Let's see if I can. There we go. Now let's go put some power to it. Let's kick some power on here. The main is off. Heard it load up a little bit. Quite a bit of load, as a matter of fact. Let's just check it out, breathing and see. Oh, it wasn't bad at all. What are we pulling? Can you read that? Just a little over six amps. Ah, oh, there we go. We got some imbalance somewhere. Alright, let's see if I can get this camera set up where we can watch it. I'm gonna crank on this this uh, AC unit. what kind of amperage we're pulling. Oh, we're not too bad. We're about 20, uh, 26 amps, something like that. Kind of fluctuating on the high side, but we're on the loading leg here. Uh, about 23, 24. So there you got it. Running real smooth under a heavy load running on gasoline. We're going to repeat this running on propane. Okay, 
I got my propane tank hooked up. Now this is just a test. You know, if I needed a bigger tank, I'd go get a bigger tank. Or I may be in a situation where I actually have access to a bigger tank. Or bigger, more supply. Let's switch off the gas line. So the gasoline is now turned off. And uh, let's crank it up on propane. Open up the gas valve. Give it a little prime. And crank her up. That's pure propane. And it is a whole lot smoother. It's very apparent. And I'm going to have to uh, change the jet on that carburetor to running gasoline. Let's go put a load on it and see what it'll do. Okay, let's listen to this thing kick off, off running off of propane. See if propane's got enough to, uh, to run it. propane you can see 23 on that one about 27 on that one 26 we'll listen to the motor under load Thank you.